So is this the top part or the that, bottom well, one? This, the, this the small one is the mandrel, which is the form. It's okay. going to be the, the round thing that you make the circle around. Mm -hmm. This long one is going to be this thrust bearing. Oh, okay. So here's an example one for mm -hmm. you in front of you. Okay. Okay. So I've got this. Okay. okay do you have the small this. wire that I just handed? Did I hand you the small wire yet? No. Okay. So I'll do one alongside you. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just launched that. God knows. Into somebody's eyes. It's like, it's probably like <laughs> over in the bottle rockets. I, yeah. I got <laughs> like the smallest my Z87 rated uh, yeah. spectacles on. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we need to, um, what basically is going on here is you have two 20 thousandths of an inch holes around each other. Hmm. One in the front is closed to hold the prop shaft all the way, or the rotor shaft all the way through. Mm -hmm. And the back one has to be open to allow oh, okay. for the, um, the hook to get on Because if you have two closed loops, you can't thread through two closed loops. And they have to align. They do have to align and be in a straight line. That's a completed line. It's a completed line. That's what it's supposed to look It's a completed line. Okay, so the first step you do here is you take your longer wire, which is about three inches long or so, and bend it over your mandrel, your round form, once. Okay. Like such. The only reason for this first bend is to give yourself a better grip. Oh. So you can hold it like this. Mm -hmm. This way I have this and mm -hmm. this attached together. Then you wrap this around tightly to form your front closed circle. Okay. All this other stuff that was uh, hanging on the end there, I just trim it off because it's extra. You don't need it. That was okay. literally, as I said just a second ago, just for uh, holding on. Okay. So now I have this full 20,007 inch loop mm -hmm. closed right there. Okay. This 20,007 inch loop is the front face mm -hmm. of that's contacting the rotor blade. Um, so it needs to be bent back a little bit. So you have the front arm. So you can see this is line, aligning with the rotor like that. Now we need to get back to the back arm. So we go up about a half inch or so. I'm making this one a little small because I don't have that much mm -hmm. wire on the back there. But we bend this back. Mm -hmm. Stuck our mandrel back in. This. 20 thousandths of an inch loop doesn't have a whole lot of range of motion, so it's pointing it off to a wrong angle because the way I bent it, yeah. I bent it poorly, which means I need to realign it. Hmm. That just means bending the face back to point to the rear arm. This is something that's very common. You need to make these adjustments to help it be aligned. So now it's pointing against the rear arm, it's aligned. Next step I need to do is make the rear pigtail. You can either make a forward pigtail or a reverse pigtail. The reverse pigtail is easier to make than the forward pigtail. So you grip the two, the mandrel and the uh, thrust bearing wire together. Reverse pigtail. Wrap all the way around. I'm bending my mandrel wire right now, which is, it's going to happen. You're going to bend your mandrel wire all the time, but I'm bending it. You have to keep straight. I'm going to, yeah, so bend it all the way around. And so I just twisted it. And I have basically a completed pigtail now. I have a essentially completed thrust bearing. Trim off the excess, and we're pretty much good. However, if I take another straight wire, because now this mandrel's done, because I bent it up too Are much. Are they aligned or not? Does They're definitely not aligned, I promise you that. So oh. I cannot <laughs> shove this in yeah. and uh, spin it. it. It's Well, I can't even get yeah. the second one on it. It's too tight. Too so this wants to go this way, and this loop is probably pointing off in this mm -hmm. direction somewhere. So the re the yeah, so this loop is pointing down here like that. So the rest of the steps are just aligning the two loops. And this is different on every single thrust bearing. It totally depends on how you're how you wind it yourself. Okay. So as you would do these little adjustments, it's just based keep off of what you're doing. The alignment. Keep double checking, keep going back, sticking your little straight wire in, seeing what needs to be adjusted. As you go you will eventually get to the right spot. Okay, thank you very much. I'm getting close. It's, it's just a couple thousandths of an inch each time. You just need to see. So I need to lower this back arm down. I'm just there. I'm just off.
Did you put this on the internet? Well, I'm looking for his video right now, honestly. <laughs> so you're on, you're you're on, 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 wow. That's why I'm going fast and narrating <laughs> okay. more. I, I would be having you guys do it along, but I was actually yeah, I hoping know. for a copy so of this. Put it on Facebook? I know. If I'll you put just it put it on wherever anybody or wants it. Or YouTube. YouTube. Why don't you put it on YouTube? That would be great. All right. Okay. We can watch it a million times before we can yes. line it. <laughs> right? Show it to children. Yes. Are you? Where are you going to post it? I'll put it up on YouTube. So. Yeah, thank Make you so much. Your... Man, I am just there. He, he's on there. <laughs> it's so close. Oh, <laughs> yeah, the release? All, all, all the Can money. you sign a release for me? All the money that you're going to make off yeah. of this video? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> all the millions of all dollars. All the hits he's going to get. <laughs> all 50 of them. <laughs> No, come on. <laughs> I might do 15. Okay, so now it's loose. Now I finally got it. After yeah. all that adjustment, you can mm -hmm. see that it's loose because it's straight line, yes. it's tight on both sides, and it's a line spinning around. Mm -hmm. So that's how you make a thrust bearing. Okay, that's awesome. Awesome.